brother, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Dr. Rick back at you. Uh, I promise you, this one will definitely not be that long, but it's something that I initially struggled with where I whether or not I was even going to talk about this, but here, here it goes, because I think that there's a teachable moment, or at least there's a challenge in this. Before I do, I want to point everybody to the description box. You saw the intro. You know that we're in the middle of a fundraiser. If you follow me, you know the importance of the work I do. Definitely before you leave this video click that link and give or use the organization's cash app handle to give we need your support we can't do this isolated while we're trying to touch a nation of black people we need the people who are capable to give whether it's a dollar five dollars a hundred a thousand we need you to give uh, and we need to be able to touch the people that need to be touched in the many areas that it needs to be touched. We are self-destructing, we are collapsing, and we are sitting here watching it happen and talking about it on social media. When we have the means and the resources and the minds to actually stop it and change it, that's absolutely unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm getting off that high horse. Let's get over here. Let's talk about this Rihanna thing. I love entertainment. I grew up in a musical family. I still have people who are a part of me. My brother's a gospel recording artist. My nephew, his son, he's also, my brother's also an extraordinary drummer. Done some unbelievable things over the course of his life, drumming for some unbelievable people. His nephew right now is the drummer for Toby Igwe, the rapper. And so I've been around it. Before I formed the Odyssey Project, it used to be Odyssey Entertainment. This is how long I've been. I've been in the game since I was a kid. My mom was recorded with James Cleveland, Keith Pringle, Walter Hawkins, and all those people. So I've been in this game a long time. I can recognize talent. I love talent. I love real, true vocal talent. I also love the people who are unbelievable performers. Um, so... I get it. I get the need to get a diploma. But let me tell you something, and I'm going to be as very direct as I possibly can with that. We we are some of the most critical people of our own people. We are either uh, attacking who they are, how they move, or we are sitting up and talking about how horrible of a job they did. And so let's break it down and let's look at it real quickly. Again, I struggle with this. I didn't really want to get involved in it, but now that I'm looking and I'm seeing how we move and it's the same old, same old, same old thing. Now, from a perspective of measuring that show against other shows, my favorite show came from one of my favorite artists. If I'm talking about just sitting down and loving the music, Prince. If I'm talking about uh, electric excitement, Michael Jackson. But Prince's halftime show to me is the pinnacle. It's what everything else is going to be measured by. But let me tell you something. I watched that performance by Prince in the rain as he literally laced it and I can tell you this there has not been one day since that day that I watched that that I woke up in the morning and the first thing I thought about was that performance by Prince I've watched some of Prince's most unbelievable performances I've seen some of them live and still 
Not one morning do I wake up and that's the first thing on my mind. Doc, what are you talking about? I'm talking about when you live your life 365 days a year to be the best person you can be, you find very little time to be critical of other people who are doing their thing in their vein and their game. You got to understand just for this young lady to be asked to be on that stage says that she's had a remarkable career and that she's done some extraordinary things and that she is one of the people that that's at the top of the game. That can't be questioned. Um, to sit up and look at all the other things that happen. You're talking about a person that's definitely probably um, somewhere around five or six months pregnant based on looking at her. That's literally elevated in there. All I can sit up and say when I'm watching it is I couldn't get into it. I thought it was based on everything else. I thought it was pretty cool, but it's an opinion. Whether I think it's cool or not is my opinion. Whether I liked it or not is my opinion. I'm not telling anybody they had to like it, but this is what I'm saying. When you take to the airwaves to tear down another black person because the 15-minute free concert they gave you that everybody rests so much of their their joy on every freaking year it's like the halftime show the halftime show it's a 15 minute free concert enjoy it have fun but that can't be the pinnacle that can't be the peak of what's going it can't be so disappointing when it doesn't go your way that the first thing you do is want to go out and go on the attack what are you doing in your life that 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 that, that, that you can sit up and you can bury yourself in because they have 364 more days outside of yesterday that you are going to get a chance to make your impact. My whole thing is that young lady's already made her impact. She's already become an icon in what she wants to do. I have no desire to be an icon in the music industry, or I could have pursued what my family was doing a long time ago. I decided to strike, strike out on my own, be my own person, do my own thing. And I'm glad that I did, that I love my family. I love my brother. I love my nephew. I tell everybody in the world, hey, man, those are my dudes. They are doing their things. They're exceptional at what they do. They've had a lot of fun, a lot of success, and good for them. That wasn't my vein. You know, every now and then I'll get around music and I'll play with it. I'll get around and I'll, you know, mess around with my little vocals and do all that stuff. I, 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 I did it. I had a chance at it. I could have pursued it. I could have made it a point and a purpose. And no telling where it went. I wanted to be a person that helped people here. And that's what I struck out to do. I wanted to be a person that made my presence felt in that vein. And that's what I did. And, and, and I'm grateful for it. And those who want to do that, that's great. But what I can tell you is when you are sitting out, it's always this person, that, and that person, that, and that person, that. Everybody's different. Nobody's the other person. I don't need to pit this person or that person. My favorite vocalist right now and has been for some time is Jasmine Sullivan. Doesn't mean that Beyonce isn't Beyonce. Doesn't mean that Riri isn't Riri. They're different in what they do and their way of touching the world is their way. When it comes to taking control of a stage and setting an entire audience on fire, to me, Beyonce is the female Mike. She, there's nobody that's gonna come close to her in that. Um, when it comes down to the last name Knowles, she's not even my favorite Knowles as far as appreciation. Now, I don't dislike her, I love her, but I, I prefer Solange. That's my opinion. That's all it is. It's my feeling of this. But when we sit down and we decide that we take our opinions and we use them as catalysts to attack, it reflects more on who we are. It reflects on the fact that because if I'm happy with me, I'm like, man, you know, I sit up and I watch that and I was watching it around a bunch of other guys. I was at the, the cigar shop and it was some females in there and, and you know, and there were opinions. Um, and there is this prevailing opinion in one one instance by particular people and my thing is have your opinion feel how you feel but my thing is is even if i felt it was an absolute horrible show i didn't uh it definitely wasn't the greatest show but i'm not literally looking number one i'm tuning in the super bowl if i'm watching i'm watching to see who wins the game the, the halftime and the commercials are just added something to enjoy if i want to be entertained in a musical format, I'm going to choose who I go say. If it's a female, my first choice is going to be Jasmine Sullivan because I prefer the vocal delivery over the energy. I'm, I'm, maybe it's because I'm older. If, 
If it's a male, it's going to be Joe. My preference. I'm not going to sit down and compare them to anybody else. I'm not going to attack Tank. Love Tank, by the way. Because he's not Joe. I'm going to say Joe's my dude. But I love Tank and I can do that. And I'm not going to expect Tank to do Joe stuff. Just like Joe ain't going to do Tank stuff. That's what makes them unique in what they do. You're talking about a young lady that was six months pregnant that showed up and delivered on the obligation she made more than likely before she was pregnant or before she knew she was pregnant. Came out, got up there, danced, did not miss a beat, delivered. What? She didn't show you enough uh, body. She didn't show you no cleavage, no ass. So the men are upset about that. She didn't shake it as hard as B. She not B. Okay. So that's that 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 that's the superficial stuff the deeper thing that is challenging to me is how we consistently do this we do this on a regular basis we're out there it's so many things wrong in the black community and we're attacking people who are actually on their game doing something they're doing what they love and we're actually in many instances spending money to help them build their lives and their careers and we're attacking them you know because Find something in yourself that makes it hard to criticize. Because I'm telling you, when you find that thing, that thing that makes it hard, I'm not saying that you can't have an opinion. I'm not saying that you can say, man, that wasn't what I thought it was. But to take some of the nasty things that I saw. If you sit up and say, man, I wasn't impressed. That's your opinion. I appreciate it. That wasn't good. But to find ways to go and attack her and to tear her down, and to say real negative, harsh things, not necessary, not necessary. And some people say, well, nobody had a problem when it was, no, I've had a problem. I don't care who it is. I don't like to see us tear us down openly. It's a bad practice. You can trace it back to slavery. I want to see us celebrate us. I want to see the fact that this young lady has, through, through some turmoils of growing up in front of an, a, a global audience and having some down moments, has kept herself together, has lifted herself up, has created an unbelievable business brand that excels that of those that she's being compared to. She is the wealthiest female entertainer in the music industry. She's done that. She is becoming a, a mom. And it looks like from what I've read that she's about to become a wife. Uh, at least that's what some sources are reporting, that after the baby is born, they're going to get married. Uh, you know, you know me, I'm old fashioned. That's a little backwards, but that's how they're doing it these days. Uh, I'm just really uh, dumbfounded at how we do things. Um, but I am praying and hoping that at some point we get it. We are not a monolith, but we are a collective. And it is immensely important that we appreciate our differences, that we stand and come together on our, 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 our uh, commonality, and that we find a way to be kind to one another in, 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 in the same way, learning how to be kind to ourselves. And that's one of the problems, too. A lot of us don't even know how to be kind to ourselves. So it's absolutely impossible for us to be kind to anyone else. But we really need to ease up on that. And again, this just happens to be Rihanna that we're talking about. But to me, it's a consistent thing. I get it. You want to see the bang, bang, boom and all this here. And or you want to see something that just made you go, ooh, ah, uh, and all that. And that's great. Um, I guarantee if you come up with the money and go see B in September, you're probably going to get all that and then some. And yet she's one person in this big conglomerate arena. Uh, and there's a lot going on in that arena that I don't agree with. But if we're talking about just how we handle people, because to me, it's not just about what these people represent. It's about what we see when we see them and how we are responding to what we see when we see them. And for many people, we see ourselves. 
and we don't want to admit it, but we don't like it. Now, again, people are going to disagree with that, and that is your prerogative. Nobody has to like anything. One of the things that makes me successful in what I do is I don't need anybody's approval. I don't need anybody to co-sign who I am and what I do. I do what I believe in. I stand on what I believe in. I say what I mean. And then I let the chips fall where they may. I'm never out here trying to hurt anybody. You don't see me going after and attacking. Now, for those people who are against my people, I go get them. But just out picking fights with other brothers, you know, for the sake of likes, clicks, subscriptions, won't see me do it. Starting beef just to get attention won't see me do it attacking another brother because i got an issue with them on the side i'm gonna deal with it on the side whether i get what i think i should get or not that's as far as it goes going on the side you're not gonna see me out there tearing down another black person unless i don't see them as being a black person but you know that's me i'm going to end it i'm going to get off of here uh but i had to come back and talk about that one uh again you see the videos in 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 in, in uh, at the beginning of the um, at the beginning of this video, you see the need for to support. We need you to go in the box, either click the link and give, or use the organization's cash app. The work we're doing in the community is essential. It's imperative that we make an impact. We can't consistently sit around and wait for something to happen. It's our responsibility to make it happen. So again, I'm challenging you. Go in the description box. Don't don't get the mindset somebody's going to give. That's a great thing. Somebody's going to give. That. No, you give. You support it. On that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. I got things I need to do, but I just need to touch on that. So on that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable night.